Hello and welcome to another episode of Dream Home Cooking. Today is a delicious, simple menu. Um, I'm going to show y'all how I make a spaghetti Alfredo squash bake and party pesto pinwheels and then some delicious garlic green beans. So I'm going to get started with the spaghetti squash Alfredo and this is a delicious dish. dish. It's actually something I found online that was a real, real healthy dish, but I made a bunch of changes to it. So if you've never worked or cooked spaghetti with spaghetti squash. I want to show y'all this is a spaghetti squash. Now my recommendation is to bake this first before you cut it open because it is so hard to cut even with the sharpest of knives. But you want to take the spaghetti squash and bake it. You pierce it with a sharp knife, put it on parchment paper on a pan and bake it at 350 for about 50 minutes, 5-0. And then it's super, well, not super easy, but it's much easier to work with. So you could see how much easier it is for me to cut through. It's a little tough on the ends to get that knife through there, but we're going to save the shell of this spaghetti squash so that we can put the, the filling inside of it. So then it just makes it prettier on the eyes. So you can take a little strawberry huller or a fork and what you wanna do when you cut it open, you're gonna have seeds in there. So you just kinda have to get in there with your hands. You want to remove all those big seeds. You don't wanna put that in the dish, accidentally bite into it. And then what I'm gonna do is get a fork and, I'm, and you see how, that's why they call it spaghetti squash. This stuff is a lifesaver for people who are doing low carb diets and want pasta. It sort of helps to make you feel like you're, you know, having pasta without all the carbs. However, I have cooked it with pasta sauce and it's very good. But for this dish, I felt like it was too mushy just using the spaghetti squash. So what I'm doing is taking half or, or one squash using the insides and then I'm gonna add some extra pasta to it. So that way it's a little more hearty and it's not mushy. Okay, so now I've got all that scraped in there. This is gonna be extra. I'm gonna use this for another dish at another time. I've only kept the spaghetti squash from one. Okay, and so you just put these four boats on a parchment paper lined pan. So I'm gonna pop over here. This is two tablespoons of olive oil and a tablespoon of butter. I'm gonna take a half a cup of onion, white onion, and saute that for about six or seven minutes. And basically, this is gonna be the part of making the Alfredo sauce. And you can lighten it up by using 2% milk. I wouldn't advise using any uh, like skim or something like that because it'll be just real weak and watery, I think. But I am using whole milk in about a half a cup of half and half today because it just makes a really nice, rich sauce. And this is a really, really delicious meal. And it serves about six because you, unless you've got somebody with a really hearty appetite, like my sweet son-in-law, he would have one whole of these or maybe even two, but you almost could half it. So I'm excited for y'all to see the results. And when you take the fork and dig in, it's just ooey gooey, cheesy and delicious. All right, so once you've got those onions sauteed for about six minutes, we're gonna add the garlic. And this is two cloves of fresh garlic that I minced. And you always, I always like to put it in on the back end because I've found that if I put it in with the onions, I tend to burn that, or not burn it, but it just gets a bitter taste to it, I feel like. All right, so there's the garlic. Okay, and you want your heat to be on low but where you're still, you know, it's still cooking because we're gonna start adding our flour. This is two tablespoons of flour and you just wanna keep whisking it. You don't wanna dump it in there all at once. And this is gonna be your thickening agent, obviously. All right, so that is nice and whisked in. Then we're gonna add the milk. And like I said, this is two cups well, it's about a cup and a quarter of whole milk and then the rest half and half, but to make a total of two cups. And I'm just gonna gradually add this and you'll see it'll start to thicken and you may want to bump the heat a little bit on this because it needs a little bit of heat in order to thicken it up. Okay, so I got that last bit of milk in there. It's nice and thick. So now I'm gonna add a few seasonings. My normal round, this is a teaspoon each of salt pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. And then you want to add a tablespoon of lemon juice. 
I'm gonna eyeball it. And then I'll taste it after I get everything in here and make sure everything is to my liking. I may need a little more salt or a little more pepper. And then I'm gonna put a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese in there and just stir that until it melts down. It already smells delicious. All right, and now all that's left is to add the chicken. Now to make it really easy, I just got a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store deli and deboned it. And so that's what I'm using, but any kind of uh, chicken, two cups of shredded or chopped chicken. So I'm gonna put that in there. All right, and then I'm gonna take some spaghetti squash. This stuff is really good. You could do, you know, spaghetti squash mac and cheese because it really does have the consistency of pasta. All right, and then I'm gonna add, this is eight ounces of um, linguine already cooked and drained. I'm just gonna eyeball it. I normally put the whole eight ounces in here, but you wanna stir it. And as long as you've got lots of good creaminess around the pasta, you just don't wanna put too much pasta in there to where it dries out. Okay. So that is the filling, and we're gonna take a little break, and when we come back, I'm gonna show you guys how I stuff the squash shells, and we're gonna make the uh, garlic green beans. You know, years ago, we researched different cabinet companies. Wellborn was the cabinet company that we decided to go with. Now, Wellborn has a lot of your custom style building like we did in the local cabinet shops years ago. You just can't go wrong with a product like that with Wellborn. On top of that, Wellborn has researchers that are out in the market every day. Their job is to see what's current in the market, what's selling, and what their dealers need to be showing in their showroom. So come out, let me help you design your kitchen with Wellborn products. Hey guys, come on in. Hey Troy. Yeah, let me show you around. Wow. You know, as the Acme Brick spokesperson, I get paid in brick. All the brick I want. Solid. What? Too much? To get Acme Brick quality, look for the Acme name. And here's the guest room. Hope you like a firm mattress. My father started this business in 1977. The people that work for us is part of what sets us apart. All of our employees have experience. All of our plumbers have been with us for 10 years or greater. Our motto at Dean and Son is quality and service. We're gonna do quality work. We don't leave people hanging. We're there when we're supposed to be. We're done when we're supposed to be. Living up to what you sell and service them after they pay you, that's where your integrity in the plumbing business comes. Dean and Son Plumbing Company. Call today at 518-9780. Carrier asks, what does comfort mean to you? Is it a cool breeze on a scorching day? Or a cozy corner on a cold night? <laughs> that every room of the house is as inviting as the next. And the air is fresh and clean for everyone. That humidity is where it belongs. At Carrier, comfort means more than just the temperature. Hello, I'm Annette Hale of Annette Hale's Indoor Comfort Systems, the lady with a team you can trust. Visit us online at IndoorComfortHSV.com. Okay, we're back. I cleaned up all this mess. I've got the squash. I call them squash boats. They're ready to be stuffed. And you could certainly do this in a baking dish, but I just think it's more fun to have a pretty presentation. Okay, so I'm going to fill each one of these with equal amounts. And I'm not, I think this might work better. And you just want to just fill them as full as you can. I'm a little out of practice. We've been on a, I think a six months or almost six month break from filming Dream Home Cooking because I had a freak accident in the gym and dislocated my shoulder. And I know I put that on my page a while back, but it's just been a long recovery, but I'm so happy to be back today and with my producer and filming and Mike's excited about being a taster again. So you just wanna generously fill these and they'll probably be overflowing, but that's okay. But if you end up, if your spaghetti squash isn't as big or what have you, and you have extra pasta, pasta mixture, no worries. Just, you know, you can put it in a dish and freeze it or just bake it separately in a dish. 
But if you have extra of this mixture, you can always put it in a dish and freeze it or just bake it in a regular small baking dish. So you're just gonna kinda mash that around, make sure it's all in there. Then I'm gonna put a little pepper, a little black pepper. I think this would be good too with shrimp instead of chicken. If you're a seafood lover, that would be a nice uh, substitute as well. And then we're just gonna put, just eyeball a couple tablespoons of um, shredded mozzarella on top. And I like to use the one that has the Philadelphia cream cheese shredded in with it. It kind of makes it melt prettier. Okay, and then this will go in a 350 oven for about 15 minutes. So I'm going to move this over to the side and get this pot cleaned up and then I'll show y'all how I do my little garlic sauteed green beans. Okay, so I've got the uh, big old pot cleared out and I've got the spaghetti squash stuffed and ready to put in the oven. I'm not putting it in there quite yet because it's gonna be another almost hour before Mike gets here. But I'm gonna work on these green beans. These are my garlic sauteed green beans and it's just a simple recipe, but they're delicious and I think they go well with the um, Alfredo spaghetti squash dish. I'm kind of starting off like I did a while ago, sauteing a little onion about a quarter cup of chopped onion and one tablespoon of olive oil and one tablespoon of butter. And then after this cooks down a second, I'm gonna add some garlic to it. And this is a recipe that I don't boil these green beans. I just saute them in a skillet and they cook up nicely and they don't become totally, you know, where they don't have any crunch at all to them. I do have a green bean recipe that I cook every last vitamin out of it and make them mushy and with bacon grease but this is just super simple. Okay, I'm gonna add the garlic to that. Make sure I get all that out. There is so much to catch all up on with community news and just all kinds of stuff. Our city of Huntsville, my goodness, how proud we are to be here and you know, being voted number one in the nation, number one city to live in was pretty impressive. I love all of the restaurants and fun things that we're getting to do around here. I think it's even attracting young people you know, to move to Huntsville, which I think is awesome. So, okay, so that is about ready for me to add the green beans. So this is a 12 ounce package of fresh whole green beans that have already been snipped, but then I took them and cut them in half one more time. You can get these in the um, produce section over by the lettuce, bagged lettuce. And I love it because they're already washed and cleaned and I don't have to do much. So this is just a matter of sauteing these until they get a little softer. And I'm gonna add a little salt and a little pepper. And you just wanna cook it on medium high. And in a minute, I'm gonna add just a tad of chicken broth for them to simmer. All right, so you just wanna keep sauteing these. And by that, I mean just kinda of stirring it with a wooden spoon like I'm doing um, for a couple of minutes. And then I'm just gonna add just a tiny bit, probably not even a quarter cup of some chicken broth. And then I'm just gonna turn it on real low and cover it and just let it simmer for about 10 or 15 minutes and then they'll be ready. Okay, so I am gonna set this to the side and then when we come back, I'm gonna show y'all how I make these uh, party pesto pinwheels. When you select Waldy Flooring's hardwood, you don't just enhance your home, you transform it. With hundreds of beautiful, durable, hand-selected varieties that come with up to a 50-year warranty, you can count on unsurpassed beauty and proven durability that's guaranteed to stand the test of time. When you want the best flooring for your home, come to Waldy Flooring in Madison. WaldyFlooring.com, 256-325-8453.
Hey guys, I wanted to let y'all know about a year ago, me and Bruce Stone started a new company called Stonewood Homes. And Stonewood is a little different business plan than Woodland Homes because Stonewood is a scattered lot home builder, which means if you have a lot and you're looking for a builder, Stonewood is the answer. So if you own a home site or you're looking at building a custom home, give us a call at 830-9000 and let's start building. Okay, we're back. And um, now I want to show you all how I make these party pesto pinwheels. They are so good and so easy. So, you know, you can buy that, um, the crescent roll dough in sheets instead of the little triangular things. Sometimes it's hard to find. There's a lot of things that are kind of hard to find these days. But, um, but you just unroll the sheet and you're just going to do a light layer of pesto and I just buy the pesto that's already made up in the refrigerator section. I like that one the best. And you're just going to put it evenly. You end up using about a third cup of the pesto. You don't want to use that whole container. This is a fun little colorful appetizer that you could do or in, use it in place of bread with your meal. That's very, very tasty. I love these crescent sheets. There's so much you can do with these. Breakfast casseroles and little pizzas, just all kinds of stuff. All right, and then this is a quarter cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. And we're just going to evenly sprinkle that on there and then this is roasted red peppers you can get them in a jar at the grocery store if you've never used them but um you see what i'm doing i thought i drained them enough but i'm giving it one more little drain and you don't want too much of that juice because it'll be hard for this to it'll be soggy and hard to roll up but i just took those red peppers quarter cup chopped them and they're the roasted ones so if they have a little little black spots on them they're just fire roasted so don't let that alarm you okay now we're just going to take it and carefully just roll it and you just keep rolling till you get to the end all right got to bring that bad boy back over here with the seam side down and then i'm going to take a bread knife and i'm going to cut little half inch slices and i always like to use i go through so much parchment paper um it's just such an easier cleanup and it keeps the things like this from burning on the bottom so you see i've got a little bit of extra dough so i'm just going to cut that off so then you just want to take little careful quarter to half inch pieces and gently that's why you want to definitely use a serrated or a bread knife because it just cuts a little easier through there. But um, while I'm slicing these, I wanted to tell you all about our community of the week this week is called Lakewood. And we are so excited about this community. It's been a long time coming. Um, it's in Athens. It's in a super, super great location. It's going to be a gorgeous community with a lot of lots, um, a great amenity package with a clubhouse, a pool, all that good stuff and we are just getting started with it finally able to build in there um, you know Athens has grown so much and there's so much to do there and so you're really in a prime location close to everything but Mike will tell y'all many more details and I am putting these on the parchment paper and then this goes in the oven 400 degrees and you want to bake them for about 13 to 15 minutes until they're nice and golden brown and that's it. So this is going to be delicious with this spaghetti squash Alfredo boats. I think I've named it like three different things since we've been on the show today. And then the garlic green beans, it's all going to be delicious. So I'm going to get this in the oven. And when we come back, Mike will be here with me to taste all of this delicious food and to tell you more about our community of the week. Choosing an appliance can be complicated these days. That's why at Bob Wallace Appliance, we start by asking questions like an occasional cook or a serious chef, something just for you or an army, once a week or once a day. You see, it's not just what we know about appliances, it's what we know about you. Bob Wallace Appliance, locally owned and operated for more than 35 years. Online at BobWallaceAppliance.com.
Yeah, we started at uh, Woodmill Trace, was our first woodland home, and uh, it was a town home that uh, had 220 uh, other uh, homes there, and uh, we enjoyed it. It was wonderful, and then we decided to uh, travel, and we traveled for about two and a half years in an RV. So when we got back um, last year, we all sat down and started coming up with ideas of a plan. And uh, by going into one of the communities that was already existing, we saw a, a house or a plan called the Homewood. And the house that we're in today is called the Homewood, which is 2,400 square feet with a oversized double garage and uh, many, many amenities. And the difference is, uh, in the town home, we had an upstairs area that uh, would lend itself that you would go there daily. And today, we have everything all together at 2,400 square feet on one area, one floor. Okay. So that's been a tremendous asset to me. And plus, we have a great yard. And when you travel two and a half years in an RV, you don't necessarily have a great yard. You have different yards all the time. So it's really difficult to say that, well, we're sitting outside and seeing these beautiful trees, birds, squirrels, and whatever. And uh, now we're able to enjoy that. So in addition to loving the house that we're in, we're able to spend a lot of time outside enjoying the outdoors. Yes, and I think too, and I know you would agree with this, Bill, we're not spring chickens anymore. And the thought of building a home actually scared the two of us. And we were thinking, I don't know if we want to go through this again. So we met with, um, of course, Woodland Homes and decided on a plan and we decided to go for it. And I'm going to tell you something, Woodland Homes has it going on. Anyone at any age should feel comfortable to build a home with Woodland Homes. Yeah, we love our new home. It's awesome. Since 1983, individuals and businesses in Alabama have relied on Wolf, Jones, Wolf, Hancock, Daniel, and South for their legal representation. Our experienced attorneys offer high quality legal counsel in commercial law, real estate, and personal injury litigation. So if you need an attorney, hire the best attorney you can. Call the experienced North Alabama attorneys at Wolf, Jones, Wolf, Hancock, Daniel, and South to arrange your initial consultation because we're dedicated to setting the standard for legal services. We're back, and I've got the man himself, <laughs> Mike Friday, with me in the kitchen. It smells good, if I can say so myself. <laughs> it does smell good. Yeah, I walked in the door, and it was like, mm, yes, okay. that garlic and butter. Yeah. These are those um, spaghetti Alfredo, spaghetti squash Alfredo boats chicken, that I've been making. Chicken, yes, yes, with chicken, chicken. Yep. and then the little party pesto pinwheels, and um, you take some marinara sauce, and I just use your favorite jarred marinara sauce, heat it up, and then I've got my garlic green beans that I. Uh, sauteed and so, smells great. Yeah, thank you. So that's yeah. lunch. So my goodness, it's been a while since yeah. we filmed. Yeah, and got y'all recovered here. <laughs> yeah, I can move my I can move my arm, but um, I, I just I, it, there's just so much to catch up on. I talked about mm. um, Lakewood being our community of the week, right. and I haven't been out there in a while, but I'm hearing all kinds of amazing things. It's just yeah. a beautiful piece of property. And so what what. It is. What's happening over well, there? Well, we bought this piece of property a little over a year ago, and we wanted to get over into the Athens market. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually, we've done several acquisitions in Athens. Uh, Lakewood is, uh, we've started construction. Our entrance uh, is going in. Uh, this particular community will probably be about 150 to 160 home sites. So we'll be out there for, for several years. Uh, but it is a great, great location. We're located right off Highway 31, about two miles south of Highway 72. And then south of us, about two miles, is the uh, 65 um, on and off mm -hmm. ramp, yeah. uh, right next to Bucky's, uh, oh, the, which goodness. is under construction. <laughs> so yeah, we're we're close to Bucky's. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's been a couple of years in the process, and we finally got our recorded plat, and we've probably got about 15 homes under construction. Yeah, got our clubhouse. It'll be a nice, really nice clubhouse. A uh, swimming pool. Yeah, I talked about that. The yeah. amenity package seems like it's going to be pretty yep. awesome. Yeah, so it's going to be nice. And uh, the schools there are so. Are we great. know people with kids in school there. They that say it's awesome. Yeah, schools are great. I mean, this is this is such a really really good location. Since I've done my acquisition, 
there's been probably four or five other builders yeah. that have kind of come in, you know, right around us because I just felt like that the location to schools, shopping, grocery, uh, transportation systems, uh, yeah. to the new uh, Toyota plant, I mean, it's just it's just a home run. Yeah, it's an excellent location. Yeah. Speaking of growth, I mean, look at Huntsville. I know. Uh, I, I yeah. mean, you know, I got a statistic the other day. There was like 12,000 apartments under construction. And, uh, you know, th those are those are people who are moving in temporary housing that, you know, is going to be looking for, uh, you know, for home building in the future. Yeah. So it's just explosive. I talked about us. Well, and I know the viewers have seen Huntsville being voted number one yeah. city in the United States. So yeah. there's yeah. a lot of great things. Yeah. A lot happening. of yeah, a lot of jobs, a lot of activity. But we're excited to be in Huntsville, Alabama. Yes, we are. Ain't now Athens, Alabama. Yes. So we've been here for 32 years. So it's been fun <laughs> to watch the growth. It has been. It has been. It has been fun. So yes. let's wrap this up. I'm hungry. So for Melissa's recipes, you can. Find Find them on our woodlandhomes.com website as well as our Dream Home Cooking Facebook page. Yeah, and for Woodland Homes and information on your next dream home, visit our website. We just launched a brand new website, so it's full of really, really good information. And for information on uh, Lakewood, our new featured community, you can give us a call at 256-830-9000. So we appreciate our sponsors. Without them, this show wouldn't be possible. And we would not be able to build the homes without our sponsors right. as well. So y'all come out and see us. Thank you. All right, let's eat. Yep.